Welcome to Travel Point, and today we present you with 10 things you need to know about Sai Tome and Principe. Number 10 History Sai Tome and Principe were uninhabited until the late 1400s, when they were discovered by Portuguese navigators. They explored the land and decided it would be a suitable location for trade. The successful settlement of the island was established by Avru Kamina. Most of the earliest inhabitants were Jewish children who had been separated from their parents and expelled from Portugal. They eventually discovered good volcanic soil, which was ideal for agriculture, particularly to plant sugar. Sugar cultivation required lots of labor, so the Portuguese began bringing in large number of slaves from the African mainland. For a period, the island was the largest sugar exporter but this was heavily challenged by other sugar colonies in the Western Hemisphere, causing their economic downfall. After the fall of sugar cultivation, cocoa and coffee were introduced in the 19th century as the new cash crop, and the island once again had a rich export. Number 9. Location Saitome and Principe, Africa's second smallest country, is an island nation off the western coast of Central Africa and the Gulf of Guinea. The country consists of two main islands, Saitome Island and Principe Island. The largest, with 96% of the population, is Saitome Island, while the smallest is Principe Island. These two consist of several rocky inlets, including Corroso, Pedres, and Tenosas on Principe Island, and Holas on Sao Tomé Island. The capital of the country is Sao Tomé, and Portuguese is their official language. Number 8. Flag and Name Sao Tomé is named after St. Thomas, the Apostle, and Príncipe is named after the Prince of Portugal, to whom sugar taxes were paid. The flag is made up of three horizontal lines in green, yellow, and green, with two black stars and a red triangle to the far left. Green signifies the country's lush vegetation. Yellow signifies cocoa. Red depicts the country's war for independence. And the two black stars represent the two islands. Number 7. Land. Principe Island is breathtakingly beautiful, with ancient rainforests, cocoa and coffee plantations, unique wildlife, and deserted beaches, while the largest, Sao Tome Island, is home to 96% of the country's inhabitants. The largest island has the country's only international airport, and because there is no road connection between both, the only way to get to Principe Island is a 24-hour boat ride or a 45-minute flight from Sao Tome Island. Number 6. Population The country's population is over 219,000 people, divided into six ethnic groupings, Mestico, Descendants of African slaves who were brought to the island during the early years of settlement from Bina, Gabon, and Congo. The Angolars, descendants of Angolan slaves who were shipwrecked in the 16th century. Tongas, children of Cervicase born on the island. Foros, descendants of liberated slaves when slavery was abolished. Cervicase, contract laborers from Angola, Mozambique, and Cape Verde and Europeans, predominantly Portuguese. Additionally, more than half of the population is Roman Catholic. Number 5. Economy Agriculture has always been the foundation of the country's economy. The volcanic soil is rich in nutrients, making it ideal for planting. Cocoa is their main cash crop, accounting for 95% of all exports. Copra, coffee, and palm kernels are also exported. Some of their export destinations are Portugal, the Netherlands, Belgium, USA, and Nigeria. Because it's a small country and some productions are insufficient to meet local demand, the country imports most of its food, machinery, refined petroleum, electrical equipment, and other commodities are also imported largely from Portugal. Number four, animal life. The wildlife includes its flora and fauna and their natural habitat. However, 
Endemism is high, with numerous species found nowhere else on the planet. Mammalian diversity is minimal, and the salt of May shrew is the only native terrestrial mammal. There are several bats in the area. Various cetaceans, such as the humpback whale, occur offshore, and a visitor can witness the whales as they migrate past the island. Four different species of turtles have been spotted breeding on the island. They include the green and olive Ridley turtles, as well as endangered hawksbill and leatherback turtles. Birds, such as the ibis, shrike, and gross beak, can also be found. Number three, climate. The climate is tropical, and there are two main seasons, wet and dry. The wet season is from October to May, with sea temperatures reaching 28 degrees Celsius, and the dry season is from June to September. This season has less rain, heat, and humidity. The sea temperature drops somewhat, but stays around 24 degrees Celsius. The best time of the year to visit is during the dry season, which is also when you can watch whales. Number two, Marco do Ecuador. This is a worthwhile monument to visit in Ayudas Holas. This beautiful vintage point is located where the equator line crosses the island. A beautiful skyline of Salto May Island can also be seen from there, and getting there requires a boat ride. Number one, tourism. With barely a little over 32,000 tourists in 2018, Sao Tome and Principe is one of the world's least visited country. The country's goal is to increase tourist numbers by 10% each year. To attract more visitors, authorities have reduced visa requirements and are working on projects to help the country's tourism sector grow. Despite its small size and isolated location, it is a must-see destination with lots to offer the determined tourists. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe and share.